Hey, what's up, guys? And before the video gets started, I just want to say, hope you guys are having a great April Fool's Day. I mean, hopefully, you guys didn't get pranked too hard. I mean, maybe your favorite YouTubers told you they were pregnant or something, but uh, hopefully, you guys are having a good day so far. Now, originally, I wanted to make an introduction video, but I decided against that because I'm pretty sure you guys already know the gist if you're already here. So, yeah, I'm not gonna really going to do an introduction video because, I don't know, I feel like it would be kind of like a waste of time or something. So, that's probably why this is not going to be an introduction video, but there seems to be something going around in the Call of Duty community lately. Basically, something called Eclipse. Now, we're talking about this Eclipse and not that Eclipse. Now, this is actually going to be the second DLC pack for Black Ops 3. I think it comes out on April 19th, first on PS4, obviously. And with this, we're getting, of course, four new multiplayer maps and a new Zombies map. Now, let's just talk about this for a second. So, I really want to talk about these four multiplayer maps. Now, one of them that really caught my eye is, of course, Knockout. This is, like, the Shaolin Monk Temple. Shout out to Mortal Kombat. This is, like, a super, super cool map. I really like this. And I'm just really glad that this is not one of those boring Call of Duty maps that, of course, is always going to be, like, a factory. I feel like almost every Call of Duty map pack... If they run out of ideas, it's going to be a factory. Now, this, of course, is one of the ones that uh, caught my attention, much like Splash from the first DLC pack, Awakening. And this map just looks super, super cool. I mean, the devs actually said this is supposed to be for King of the Hill, mostly. So I'm thinking really cool games at Hardpoint. But overall, I just think the whole setting of this and, like, how the cherry blossoms are, like, all the little flower petals are going in the wind, I think that's super cool. And I really just want to play this. This is one of those maps that really catches my eye because it's so vibrant. And this is actually one of my lo most looked forward to map in the whole map pack. Now, the next map is going to be Spire. So this takes place in, like, a suborbital, like, you know, airport terminal. So this is going to be a terminal. And I really don't think it looks that amazing. Of course, it's super futuristic. Of course, because it's Call of Duty Black Ops 3, but this is super futuristic. I would much rather have it been a remake of Terminal from MW2 and MW3. That would have been way cooler. But overall, it just looks kind of, like, bland. Not because it's, like, futuristic. Just because, like, it doesn't really seem that there's much to do. I mean, I really can't see anything for verticality's sake, even though we're, like, high up in the sky. But I did hear that you could wall run, but, I mean, it really doesn't look that amazing, in my personal opinion. But, I mean, hey, it's it sounds cool. It looks okay i guess but again it's not really that amazing in my opinion compared to something like knockout now one of the second maps that really catches my eye again is of course verge now this is a remake of the classic world at war map called bonsai this is really cool because there's like a huge like you know, bridge in the middle and that's of course being the old bonsai but this map verge i'm guessing there's going to be another huge bridge in the middle with water there's a, always a huge waterfall in, in it and this is actually supposed to take place uh, like post-apocalyptic setting and like two factions are fighting over the last, you know, usable water source. So I think that's really cool. I'm just really glad we're getting a World at War map. I really love World at War. I mean, Bonsai is probably like, I guess I could see them going with it, but I was thinking more of like a classic World at War map, something that came with the actual game and not a DLC map pack because I don't think a lot, a lot less people basically bought the DLC. And I just would much rather have them do something like Mackin. Mackin was probably one of my favorite maps. But I could also see them doing Bonza, which I'm totally cool with. Now this again, just like Knockout, looks really cool because it looks very vibrant, daytime. And I just really like the whole bridge. That whole bridge is just really cool. And you can actually jump off the sides of the map and go down into like the water. If you played that in the original Bonza, you die. But now we have like these thrust packs. You can actually swim in the water. So that's pretty cool. And the last map we're getting is called Rift. Now this, of course, is that map in Call of Duty. That's the factory. I mean, this is supposed to take place like under a volcano or something. But let's be real. In the map, I doubt we're going to have anything to do with an actual volcano except for like it takes place during night there's some ash going around but again this of course it even says in the description that this is a futuristic military complex so yeah it's a military complex it seems really boring like i'm just gonna say it straight out this seems super boring i'm done playing in factories like i'm serious like could they not have come up with something a little more interesting than like a complex i mean come on Treyarch. But again, we all have those maps, and there's really nothing we can do about it. But Rift is probably the least map I'm excited for, and I'm mostly looking forward to uh, Knockout and the new uh, Verge map. Now, the final map, of course, is going to be that Zombies map. This is going to be Zetsubu no Shima. This means Island of Despair. I mean, we used to get, I mean, before we got a leaked image of, like, this Island of Zombies concept art. I mean, this is actually it. So this is going to take place in an island. If you guys have already watched the uh, intro cutscene to it, Basically, I think the group of Takio, Nikolai, Richtof, and Dempsey were captured, and they, like, you know, go off this ship, and then they make their way towards this island. So, basically, if the zombie storyline, you guys have not caught on already, they're basically going around killing off all the past, you know, virgins of Nikolai, Takio, Dempsey, and Richtof. We've already killed Richtof and the giant. We already killed Dempsey and uh, Der Isendra. And now, I'm guessing we're going to be going after Takio, since Takio is mostly... 
centered around any original storyline he gets beat up. So I really think it's going to be tacky. And then the final map, probably going to be going after Nikolai. And then the final zombies map is going to be this huge culmination, this epic zombies map. So that's what we're going to be doing, I'm pretty sure. I mean, it'd be kind of silly not to think that. Uh, but overall, I'm pretty excited for the zombies. I always love Cherry zombies, so I'm really not too disappointed with this. So guys, that is the new Eclipse map pack. How do you guys feel about it? Again, I'm not too excited about Rift because I'm done with these, you know, military complex maps. But I'm super excited for Knockout and Verge and, of course, the new Zombies map. Now that brings us to the end of you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, guys, have a great rest of your day. And, uh, yeah, later.